One minute switch reviews, maybe two. No intro this time, just gonna get straight to it. I used these for a couple of weeks. Uh, it was easily the most requested switch for me to do for my Is Lubing Worth series. For whatever reason, uh, it just seems to be a very popular switch. To start off, these come with a 62 gram spring as standard. It's not a bad spring weight. For example, if you're gaming, it's not too hard to bottom out using your pinky spamming the left shift key to sprint, but it's heavy enough not to notice any accidental key presses in typing day to day. I personally prefer 67 or 70 gram spring weights. They feel a bit snappier in the return for me, but to be honest, you probably won't notice much difference. They're essentially a JWK recolor, which means stock. They're pretty smooth. Uh, the sound isn't quite as refined, but once you lube it, it's really clean sounding, very slightly high pitched clack to it. Again, being from the UK, it can be a little bit hard to get some of these switches. I ended up getting these from Singapore for about 42 pence per switch. I got 70, but in dollars, that's about 58 cents per switch. So that makes it cheaper than most of the other high-end linear switches I have. Special mention, for those of you that like color-themed builds, these look absolutely banging with the Olivia colorway. I've seen it done a couple of times. Final thoughts and score. I'm going to rate this switch as the same as the Tangerines with 21 out of 30. It's a very good switch. It just doesn't offer anything unique for me personally. A higher score would mean it's competing against Black Inks, Creams or Aqua Kings, and they all have characteristics that are very unique and excel in other categories like sound, housing tolerances and smoothness. Not really much else to talk about. I personally liked it, not quite enough for me to put it in a board that I have, but maybe in a future build. Now onto the sound test. Please see my linear switch comparison video if you want to compare the scores and thoughts on other linear switches I've tested.